Moyo and welcome to my smart home rental. Oh, it's so nice to be here, Moyo. Thank you for having us. Thank you for being here. Alexa, welcome guests. Thank you for staying at the top loft. I hope you enjoy your stay. Please take care of this home like it is yours. Have a great stay and we look forward to hosting you always. Oh, I don't know who to address now. Alexa or you, Moyo? Oh, please. <laughs> about yourself Moyo. Okay. My name is Moyo. I'm a lawyer actually. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's crazy. <laughs> um, so yes I am a lawyer but I'm very much into the hospitality industry. Okay. Started up with fragrances so selling of perfumes and all of that because I am a frag head so. Oh that's love... a thing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A lot of people in Nigeria are fragheads, seriously. <laughs> okay. It's really interesting like having conversations with people, getting them to know new notes, new perfumes and all of that. So that was like a stepping stone for me. Um, and then after that, I got into like setting up businesses for other people as well. Um, set up this smart home, set up another one in Abuja, a restaurant as well. So just general hospitality and just more to come hopefully yeah that's interesting so it actually leads to my next question i was going to ask when did you realize like hospitality was your thing like, and then you know short letting apartments um when did i realize i was going to go into hospitality i think that's something that was always going to happen right. um i knew i wanted to like set up restaurants and all of that but then i also knew i wanted to get into property Right. um and i wanted something that given the fact that i'm very much you know in and out um, I thought that short let would be something to be interested in. What inspired you to set up this apartment at a smart home? Now, Top Loft, which is where we are right now, I used this apartment to learn a lot when it came to like setting up a smart home and all of that. Played around a lot with it um, and I was able to, you know, get that sorted. So it helps me keep track of like my cleaners or my guests when they're leaving, when they're coming in. We have the camera outside, um, the lock as well, nice. and so on and so forth. But it's, it's really interesting just being able to keep track of things without being here. That's very interesting. So what are the benefits of the smart home system? And what devices do you use to control your smart home? Mm, just being able to, you know, turn on lights, turn off lights and all of that. I think that helps the guests because, I mean, you don't have to literally stand up to go turn off the light or turn it on. No. Um, the AC, setting the AC, like reducing and increasing the AC. Um, the TV and th I did the shower as well. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so I set up a shower. It was really interesting, really right. stressful, but yeah. Um, so just little things that, you know, keep it exciting for them. Right. But then for you as an owner as well, you're able to keep track of things. In Abuja, for example, I had a manager there that wanted to rent out the property without letting me know and then, you know, eat eating the money in right. um, I was able to keep track of that. Next day I was in Abuja, I caught him red-handed. Wow. So these are the things that kind of help you when it comes to the smart home vis-a-vis -vis the rental industry. Right, right. So that's wow. pretty much That's that. a good benefit. I was yeah. going to get to that, but that's definitely a good one. Yeah, so yeah. you have an eye, no matter where you are in the world, you Literally, have an eye on your device. Just with my phone, I turn that off, yeah. turn it on, and right. so on and so forth. So just my friend. Interesting. No, I love that. So how difficult or easy was it to set up this smart home? And what were the challenges you experienced? Um, I mean, I am quite tech savvy, so it wasn't that difficult. Right. Um, when I say that difficult, I mean like actually you know, putting it in and then setting it up. But then there are certain things that I've been able to learn. I did a lot of trial and error, especially for the rental industry. Um, I think that was a major challenge, just being able to know what I needed here, right. how to set it up and all of that. But I've been able to learn that right. and I use that to help you know, other people with my other apartments that I've set up. It's, it's been pretty easy for them. Wow, I love that. How capital intensive was it? We need to know. <laughs> um, top loft was expensive, but that's that was because again, I I I took it like my child. And given the fact that I'd set this up and I'd set up, I think three or four after, 
um, I was able to cut that down quite a lot. Okay. So there are ways that you're able to set up a smart home cheaper. Right. Um, and I've kind of hacked that. So it, it really depends on the budget that you're looking at. Okay. What are the risks of this business? Um, I mean, there are a number of risks, but let me just show you one that I found out today. Um, so I just had a guest that checked out. Right. And um, let's just, I mean, you can clearly see serious damage done to wow. the kitchen slab. Yeah, we have a couple of these. I mean, like my first guest, it was a whole thing. I was still learning, um, didn't take a caution deposit. Wow. Silly me. Um, yeah, so she took my towel, she broke a slab, she um, took air fresheners, pretty much a lot of things that I wasn't able to then, you know, get back. Right. Um, so that's usually one major risk. But then I would also say with your staff as well, um, them being able to, you know, checkmate all these things or at least keep you in the know right. in order for you to get um, either a damage refund or whatever. Right. So yeah, there are a lot of things, but again, it's something that you can then concede. So what, what role does insurance then play in your rental properties? So initially, I didn't have insurance. Um, I had to replace my TV three times. Wow. You would never know <laughs> what would happen. So yeah, it is very important taking some sort of you know insurance right. on your property. You mentioned that this is an own property. How are you able to incorporate insurance into that? Um, so yeah, it is an owned property. And I, I mean, I'm a lawyer as well, so I had to do a lot of research when it came to you know, real estate and just things in general. And when I was setting things up, so there's this insurance that you're supposed to take um, for like construction workers, just anyone that is, just in case anything happens, so okay. like the building collapsing and so on and so forth. So again, especially for real estate or just property in general, um, it's always better for you to have some sort of insurance policy. <laughs> I would say. This is such an, a beautiful apartment. We need to know where are you listed and where can we find this apartment? Um, so yeah, I have like, I've spread the word with like property agents, so a lot of them do have it. But um, a couple of places you can find it, Airbnb on Aura as well, booking.com, but I would say Airbnb and Aura are usually the two. Yeah. All right, that's great. When you were introducing yourself, you told us a bunch of things you're into. You're running two rental properties in two different states, a, ho a restaurant in another state, and so much more. What's your What's your tip to anyone out there struggling with like a lot on their plate? Um, again, I think technology is really important for me. Um, being able to, I feel like I've said this so many times during this interview, but being able to keep track of activities and employees without that physical presence, right. um, it's very important. And you do this in twofold. So there's the one with technology, having certain you know solutions that you're able to use to checkmate the employees, but right. then also having certain processes as well. Right. Um, my restaurant, I have solutions. I have a PS solution, I have a management solution, a security solution. So I'm able to go there, check the reports for these things, and I can see in real time what is going on. Um, same thing with here as well. So uh, if the cleaner doesn't come, I'm able to know that. Or if my manager wants to put someone in the apartment, I'm able to know that. And that's because, again, I set up a number of solutions that help me keep track of these things. Right. Um, luckily for me, it's it's something that I do like business wise. Right. Um, but yeah, it is very important. Um, and then the second fold of the question processes as well. So um, if people know that they have to give some sort of report, um, it kind of checks them so that's pretty much it i think it's very important to have someone that comes in as some sort of consultant right. or at least gives you advice on how to run a business right. um i think that helps you checkmate a lot of problems that you would if you didn't do it end up falling into so right i've learned so much did you enjoy the interview <laughs> <laughs> it was lovely actually thank you thank, thank you, you. So oh thank you so much for having us so yeah just like moyo has said like it's a lot but a smart home this niche i'm definitely looking forward to it on aura by trans hotels and yeah alexa turn off the lights <laughs> <laughs>